Hello. What's up, y'all? Good, good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever it is for you. Whatever time it is when you're seeing this. We have a, a shout out Red Bull. Still ain't got the sponsorship, but hey, it's, it's delicious. And we're doing some pretty like dangerous stuff. We're driving around while we podcast, you know. Well, while we talk our stuff. Hey, look at the beautiful horses and llamas. And there's a little donkey. It's a little donkey, like a really little donkey. That's a, that's a miniature pony. That's what it's called, a pony. Yeah, so they got aliens in the news. Not aliens, but uh, what they call an aliens. unidentified, an unidentified aerial it was, phenomenon. It, was flying over a, it used to be an unidentified flying object (UFO). Then they changed it to unidentified aerial phenomenon. So it's a UAP. Yeah. yeah. But uh, it was it was a uh, drone. They call it a drone. But they they said it didn't have no kind of. They didn't. They couldn't see the. Like how it was like whatever how do they say the propulsion? Like they didn't have no means of like whatever. Propulsion. Yeah. They they assumed it was drones because there was no visible means of propulsion. Like you know, drones got the got the the Well the, could that could they have been talking about like also like propellers too? Like they didn't Yeah, like that's that no, I don't know. Visible means of propulsion means like if they don't see any like type of jets. Yeah, but I don't know if that means that they didn't see propellers, propellers or yeah. not. I mean, they could have. I guess that's what that could mean. That they give you very limited information on stuff like that. So in these kind of roads, you pull over like this and go to the side. Oh, uh, you go very slow. Yes. Like that there. Yeah, we're on a skinny back road. Yeah. But yeah, uh, so no visible means of propulsion and they were the size of cars. Yeah, they were the size of cars over a military base, bro. Yeah, they, they flew over a military base and then started hovering. But that shouldn't be surprising because they were just recently saying how, how, uh, how they, like they seen spacecraft go into the water. Like they were flying along and then at speed, like flying speed, and like fast speed, like going really fast, they just drop down and go into the water. We don't have anything that can do that. And then they got them on radar coming from like uh, 40,000 feet in the air or something like that, 75,000 feet. It's some crazy number like that. It's some crazy height. And dropping down to just one foot above sea level and then disappearing into the water and then going back up into the air, flying off. And they're, and they're coming to where like these people, where the people are meeting at, like uh... Yeah, they're, they're going to like military bases and stuff like that. Uh, important places. Yeah. But, and it's also like, there's been reports of like uh, UFOs or UAPs, whatever you want to call them, flying over uh, military bases that have nuclear weapons that are like they're they're armed and then the the thing fly over it might have been a military uh, ship i'm not sure what it, i know they flew over an armed nuclear warhead zapped it with some with some lasers and then d and they d like de-armed it deactivated it and it couldn't be used have, have you heard that no i haven't heard that that's crazy i can't believe you ain't heard of that that's, that seems like really crazy. That seems like it's really, really crazy. Like at that point, that's a danger. Yeah, but that's not the only thing. Like, they fly over military bases that have uh, armed and nuclear warheads. Like, it's like yeah, oh, oh, yeah. It's not. This is. I'm not talking about a one-time occurrence. If you Google this stuff or, like, Safari or whatever device you're using, if you go look this stuff, stuff up, there, there's several... Uh, several stories on it. Like it's not just a one-time thing. This and is they got all the time thing. Mil- they got videos from military, like military equipment. Like uh, they got video of it. Like it's yeah, not, like, the best video tracking but, uh yeah. aircraft in the air. Yeah, like dudes are tracking stuff that's so fast that when they get locked onto it, they're like super crazy happy. Like oh yeah, I got a lock. I got a lock. all this stuff. Like you know that military jumbo. Uh, but they. They, yeah, they're a lot, they, they, that's the video I'm talking about, there's a video like that where it just, uh, it's, it's, it's flying, yeah. it's flying like that and then it just stops, yeah, like. If you guys ever see a gray video where it's kind of gray, but they got, they're tracked onto something with like, a, you know, that's what we're talking about. It's called, what was it called, the, the, uh, the tick, uh, not the tick, the, uh, No, I don't think 
that was. I don't think that's that. What that video was called. No, it was called not the tick. It was called the um, whatever. Called the tic tac. The tic tac. That, that's a. I think that's a different thing. I think that was flying around. Uh, that was some stuff that was orbiting Earth. I'm talking about. What I what I'm talking about was on video yeah. and it, and it didn't have any heat coming off of it and it sort of distorted gravity around it like it was using gravity because it would go really really fast and then just stop like immediately and if a person tried to do that you know like if I was to slam on the brakes right now we're we're gonna go into the dash and this, this video that might be it it's called a tic tac oh well yeah then yeah that's it. Yeah, but if we was to stop and move like that thing's moving, we would die. Like, our body couldn't handle those. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not the only one. You gotta find the... Uh, I gotta learn how to put the video up on the screen. But the one of the guys on the boat where the shit, where the jets are chasing the airplane and it just dives down into the water. Uh, there's, there's a lot of videos that you can find of the, of that, uh, of the, of eight, of, well, I don't want to call them UFOs because that's what they are though. I don't know why they changed the name. But then you've got people that say that that's, uh, like we made that stuff and it's us. Yeah, so well, it ain't or aliens. It's, or it's not us, but it could be like a different, like a different, like a Russian. Like, a, like, like so yeah, like it's humans of... made. It's a, it's a human made, uh, like they, it's a human made like airplane. We never like, what kind uh, of air, technology I, I guess have. you would call it an airplane, yeah. Yeah, we, like, we don't know, like, like, dude, like, yeah. Yeah, but to move like that and stop like that and it's do all that aliens, stuff, bro. you can't, uh, like, the human body can't unless withstand got, that type they of got, stuff. Like, some type of new... doesn't matter what you have in there. Take off right now and, and go from, like, nothing to a thousand miles an hour and see what that does to your body. But I'm, like, I'm saying, like, you, like, don't, like, you don't know, like, like they could have technology to where, like, you don't even feel that. Like, how, like, they could... Like pressurize the air, like they would, like somebody probably said, go up ten thousand feet and see if you could breathe in that air in an airplane. See how you can breathe. Like you ain't gonna be able to, but they pressurize the cabin or whatever, whatever it is. They put yeah, the yeah. To make but sure breathe, like. but this is like this isn't just this isn't that. You know, but like you know, like you never know what kind of stuff, like like even if it's a, another kind of life form. Do you think that other kind of life form could like? Withstand the kind of stuff that's like, unless, well, unless it's just being remote controlled. I yeah, I feel like it's either remote controlled or it's like they have to be doing something with gravity because that's the only way you can stop from like you can't feel the effects of it. Oh yeah, like if you're going as fast as you stop, it's like you're gonna get whiplash. Yeah, like if I, if we're going a thousand miles an hour and I stop, like and and I hit the brakes and we stop immediately, like we just hit a wall. Yeah. That's just... Yeah, imagine what that would do to you. Yeah, that's going to be very bad. Or you you hit the water at speed. Like, you're going fucking 500 miles an hour, and then you hit water. That would normally rip your yeah. machine apart. Like, See, yeah, uh, they got some different kind of technology that we don't know about. Yeah, it has to be affecting the gravity around it. That would be the only way. That's and then as far as, like, that goes, them going in the water, people have uh, went as far to theorize that there's alien bases underwater. Yeah, like that. Was, you know who said that too? You know that Mexican OC guy, or whatever his name is. Yeah. He went on Joe Rogan's podcast yeah. and said, "I think the the aliens are in the water. I think." Uh, he said, "I think NASA saw something in the water. It was too scared to ever go back." That's what he said. And now people like you got to be a regular person to go down in the water. But I guess I guess uh, I guess he he can have he can have his own uh, theory. But I mean, I think if they were here. That would be a good place to be. Yeah, because the, the humans don't even whatever. Like we bear, like yeah, they they ha they would have to know that they we don't go in the water. Was it our solar system or is it the galaxy? They, 
our solar system is what we as the planets that or, orbit around our sun I'm in, or and then know. our galaxy is the milky way galaxy and then our uh then we're all in the same universe is it that we is it what was the statistic like they knew more about space than they knew more about the ocean or something like that or they knew about our galaxy than they knew uh well facts is we know more about space than we know about our ocean yeah, that's what because we've only explored like three or four percent, maybe five percent of our ocean. Yeah, that's what we did. Yeah, and the Earth is like if you, it's like three quarters. It's like three quarters. Uh, it's like three quarters water. There's, yeah, there's way more. Water there's way more land. water than land. Yeah. So there's like, bro, imagine how much different kinds of species there are that we don't know about. Like, bro. Yeah, they said that though. Uh, at a time, there was a time when there was way more uh, life in the ocean than there is right now. Yeah, like of course, like yeah, like if you go look at some places like coral reefs are the yeah. same, but like yeah, all the coral reefs are dying and all that stuff. And then they say once the coral reefs go, most of the fish are gonna die. Yeah, because like coral, like they all work along with each other. Yeah, like they they feed the fish. They take like the coral reef is the home to. I like fish, clown like fish and stuff hiding some kind of but yeah we went from aliens to clown fish to the ocean yeah but it worked. i mean yeah i mean that's what happened but yeah on the ocean subject though like the whole ocean deal i love going to the ocean yeah we always, i go to it all the time but i was watching some videos and like we dead ass just take we was like sewage and just dump it out there no well, literally just sewage uh we like bro, there was a time when new york was taking his trash and just dumping it in the ocean no, there was i swear there was a thing that dumped out a whole bunch of stuff into the ocean like a place in china that just dumped out a whole bunch of stuff into the ocean like oh yeah and all the rivers Oh yeah, and rivers like there was a river that got like uh, I don't know what it was like some. Like, they got a bunch of uh, what are those places? Fertilizers. And, no, and yeah, water. fertilizers and this other stuff for dyeing. Like they a bunch of dyes. They get dyes in their river system, like uh, from these their plants that they're called. I can't remember the name of what they call them, textile plants. And they're something, something like that. Something. No, they're uh, it's chemicals like full on chemicals like the bleach your jeans blue and stuff like that. Uh, it's that type of stuff, and uh, they just dumped the excess waste right out into the water. Yeah, oh. bro, there was a guy that was going through. Oh, and, I gotta go use the restroom. Uh, yeah, go ahead. There was a. He was walking through the river to see how much of dead fish, but. You can talk to the camera, I'll be right back. y'all doing bud well I... yeah bro people, humans I, I, like the more i think about it the more i feel like humans really just don't care about our environment yeah but like i feel like by the time i'm an adult like the, like by the time i'm like not an adult but by the time i'm an old man like the world is just gonna be like trash like this like it ain't gonna be no more like I mean, there's probably gonna be trees, but it's gonna be a lot less trees and stuff. Like, animals are gonna be dead and everything else, but a lot of animals are gonna extinct. I mean, yeah, but here comes my dad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He was in the bathroom. Use the use the restroom. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. We were talking about the ocean. Yeah, I was talking about how animals, like how I feel like, in, like in, in like years, like when I'm probably when I'm an old man, the world's gonna be like all, like unless unless we stop and we start like uh, changing what we're doing, bro, like the world's gonna be over with. But you know. Yeah, it's not gonna be. Uh, we're not headed in the right direction for sure. Nah. Yeah. Like yeah. we're gonna be well, we're gonna be driving down the street, and no matter where we go, we're just gonna have we're gonna see garbage like. Yeah, like garbage because once so but if you if you google it though, bro, if you look it up, we we don't even use up that much land. Like we don't take up that much space. We're all just we all just bundled up bunch up in one area. Yeah, but yeah, but but that's where we're at. So do the research though. If we if we started like if we just spread out, bro, like we would be there's there's so much more room for Yeah, people. but that doesn't that that's just going to be good for a little bit for how how much longer though? A couple like a couple more 100,000 years. Like 
there's gonna be more garbage built up that other place too. Like yeah, but we just gotta learn how to recycle it better. We yeah. gotta learn how. We gotta to, learn how to do that. But like yeah, we gotta uh, come together as like uh, yeah because the but the earth though it it it, it deals with itself. Like we're we're just like fleas on the back of a dog when it comes to this earth, bro. Yeah, and, but and 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 most of it is water. So and we like we we're not, like we do fish the oceans and do all that and like and we like we 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 do a lot to the earth or whatever like pump the oil out of the ground, dig up the coal. We got all these like mines and stuff like that, but it would take a lot to to do something to this place. Oh, bro, but we've already impacted the earth a lot more than you probably think. I mean, I'm sure we have, but if you go back and look how people say global warming or global cooling, like they don't even, these people that say that do no research at all because there's been times when the whole earth has, has been it's covered frozen. in snow. Like, yeah, yeah, like you were cold. There wasn't no place to be warm. You were just a cold. And then there's been times when there's no ice on Earth. Like, there was no ice at all. Like, there's no polar caps. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really worried about, like, the climate. I mean, I, I'm worried about the climate, but well, I'm also worried about, like, like, like those plastics and everything else. Like, yeah, that's a problem. Like, uh, uh, plastics are a problem. Uh, stuff that doesn't biodegrade easily. So, like, stainless steel. It's like when you steel. brush your teeth, bro. Like, I heard, like, when you brush your teeth and you spit it, bro. That's like you're spitting plastics back into the wall. I don't know how true this is, but, like... Like when you brush your teeth, then like you like 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 you're getting like when you spit like a little microplastics are going back into the water and like and yeah, but microplastics in your body is much worse than microplastics in the water. You're like you, yeah. They say like in a in a yeah. That's why that's why I thought about that video. I was like, you're worried about the microplastics in the water, but you're swallowing a whole yeah. bunch of microplastics when you're brushing your teeth. Yeah, like that. That that's 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 uh, that's the problem. It's eating them, yeah, because they say you eat enough. Uh, it's like a, it's like a credit card size. Yeah, you heard in a, that in a year. Yeah, you heard that. Yeah, yeah. something like that. Like so, you just know in this world, you're gonna eat at least a credit card size worth of plastic in a year, something like that. If, My, like, maybe if you eat healthy, maybe not. Maybe if you're like a, you're a, the cleanest either, like you're clean, like yeah. But. I still don't. I still don't see me eating. A whole, I mean, I chew on plastic, so I could probably eat a, a whole. You're probably every time you chew on a plastic, like you're probably, you're probably chipping off a whole bunch of plastic. Yeah, a bunch of micro, yeah. uh, bunch of, bunch of micro pieces of plastic. That's crazy how they do us like that. And most of the food is poison, bro. If you look at all the foods that we be eating, on, man, and like when you cook it, when you cook food in the microwave, like it, 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 it takes a lot of the stuff out of it. Yeah, like, like, but yeah. it be the foods, bro. Like all the preservatives. And, uh, like, even the cereals and stuff like that, bro. Like, they just... Uh, every box of cereal has something in it that can... That is not good for you. If you Google just the the ingredients alone by themselves, it will tell you, call poison control if, can, if ingested. Yeah, especially in large amounts, bud. Yeah, and if you're eating it every day, it that's a large, large amount. amount. Yeah. Like if you're eating, like, three or four bowls of cereals a day, bro... Even if you're just eating one a day every day... For a whole year, that is going to affect you. Yeah, but there's people that eat more than that, and that's yeah. why, that's why they're over here like not doing good. Like, I'm sure, I'm sure if you eat one bowl of cereal every once in a while, you'd be okay. But like, I, I, I still, it's still, what, it's still not good yeah, to eat. The food ain't good for you. Like even like, and it's crazy because like they can put in the news how eating certain foods will make you like can cause you to have dementia or like give you cancer. It's uh, but these people still eating it. Yeah, bro. Still go order it by the by the box. They go on, yeah, bro. Like they're going eating all these other stuff like Doritos and chips, bro. I mean, I even catch myself doing it like all the time. Like I'm always eating junk food, bro. Like, but that's just uh. But it's just readily available. It's what you it's what you see. Yeah, I don't go to like when I go shopping. Yeah, like I'm not going to the like aisle where all the fruits are and other other stuff. Like I probably should like. Yeah. Yeah, you know what's up. Yeah. Yeah, bud. Yeah. Did you see? Did you see where where uh where people where the rappers are trying? Who was it? Uh, he said he was sorry for sending out that diss. J. Cole? Yeah. Yeah, I heard him. He was like, I'm sorry about that. Like, he said it didn't sit right with me or some other stuff like that. Yeah, I didn't watch the whole video, but that's soft shit. 
How are you going to apologize when you put out a whole... Like, you, you went to the studio. You real life went to the studio, sat down and, and recorded... Listen to it and said, run that back. Listen to it again. Yeah, like you, you, you know, it took you a hot minute to make that song. You didn't just make it in a couple of minutes, and then you're gonna go and apologize to him for it. Yeah, bro. It's 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 gonna be a. It, it's like like rappers these days are soft, but it's probably people that told him to do it. It's probably like people, his like man, managers and everything. Be the like better that. man and apologize type yeah, shit. Yeah, type stuff. But yeah, I know. Uh, it's all just for some uh, clout. Publicity? Yeah. They were both had careers that were like falling off. And the easiest way to get to, for people to get famous is to start dissing each other. To start dissing each other is the best way. Yeah. Oh, bro, look, Conor McGregor said this about Diddy. He barely, he barely shook my head. I was about to give him a left to the team. Conor McGregor. So if you, if you shake, barely, if you give a man a handshake and you barely grab it, that's disrespect. Well, you're supposed to give, you're supposed to have a firm handshake. I've done give so many dudes, like, soft handshakes, like, I didn't Why? like. Why? Because, bro, I don't like grabbing dudes' hands, bro. No, nah, that's fine, but no. Nah. Not like, like, I'm just playing, bro. Like, I'm just an awkward person, bro. Like, I'm, like, especially when I don't know you, bro. Trying to give me a handshake, bro. Like, I don't know you, bro. Like that, bro. Like, yeah. Like, I, like it was that dude that was, like, yeah. Like, the boxing, like, that came from the boxing gym, bro. I'm like, bro. Like, I sparred, like, I sparred, like, yeah, bro. It's, like, weird, bro. I don't know. I don't know, bro. But, yeah, bro. What you think about the fights coming up, bud? Like, uh. Who's fighting? This weekend, uh, Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney, bro. Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. You want to see Devin Haney? I hope to God that Ryan Garcia loses. I want him to win, bro. Why? Because, bro. Oh, my God. He looks like a complete retard right here. Ready? Look at him. He looks stupid. He looks so dumb. First Devin Haney, huh? Yeah, he said... Not here we get it. It's not just a That's tomorrow. That's happening tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. This is Devin. Look, De Haney. Devin Haney almost got rocked. I mean, did get rocked. Bro, look at this. De La Hoya mentioned in an interview with BoxingNews247.com that Garcia is set to earn a significant sum, potentially around $30 million for this fight, which could be, which could double if he emerges victorious against Haney. He should thank me. I just blessed him with about $30 million, Garcia declared. Wow. So there, dude's, dude's standing to make $30 million tomorrow in that fight. Maybe even more if he wins. But Devin Haney, Haney will come into this bout with an undefeated record of 31 fights against and against King Rai. He will look to extend his legend to establish himself as one of the most notorious boxers in North America. The Dream has a the Dream has a record of 31 and 0. Uh, 15 of his victories have been by knockout. So, I, 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 half his fights, he's knocked people out. So, look for a knockout from this guy. From, uh, from Tank, I mean, Devin Haney? Yeah. Look, this is what happened in, this is what happened in the face-off. He's like, where's your, like, Ryan or... Where's your mom? That, oh, that was a slap and a push. He, he 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 talked him out of his character, made him put hands on him. Hello, my love. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good on the podcast, just hanging out. Oh, hanging out. Hello. Talking about the fights tomorrow. You know who? You know anybody? You know you know Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia? Didn't think you would. That's who's fighting tomorrow. They stand to make the uh, if uh, Ryan Davis, uh, Ryan Garcia. Ryan Davis. I said the wrong name. Ryan Garcia. The dude's gonna make thirty million dollars for that fight tomorrow, and it, it could be double that if he wins. Yeah, that's crazy. I can't get the answer to that on iPhone. What you doing? I got a plate. I got a plate and a fork. 
Got a plate and a fork for your beef stick. Yeah. You got to cut it up into little pieces and eat it? No, I thought I had a muffin. Oh, man. Yeah, that's how I feel. So what you doing? I'm just sitting here. We got 28,000. First pass, 28,000. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's, that's quite a bit, I guess, for a Friday. Oh yeah, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to go to work at McLean for a little bit. I asked Debbie if she had a chance to talk to anybody. She said she was dealing with something yesterday. I was like, I seen. That's why I didn't ask yesterday. Yeah, I need to get in there. I need to get up in there. And, and uh, yeah, because my fiance is a cigarette selector. Jenna, y'all should know that by now. She selects cigarettes, and I want to get in there and select some cigarettes as well. See how that goes for me. You know, I'm a construction background, and I really can't see myself. Uh, getting locked in at a warehouse but at that place i could this man he's a hard working man yeah and, and they'll they'll utilize me for and send me all around i worked there before and i and i did everything like they had me doing all types of stuff none of cigarette selecting though yeah never cigarette selected it's kind of hard to get into cigarettes but once you're in there you're locked in yeah because the boss in there usually keeps people till they're fired yeah if she likes you they're staying I should be getting a call from the hall to go back to work sometime soon. I, yeah, my union, I've been laid off for a little while now. My union should be calling me, though, to go back to work. It's freezing outside. Yeah, I know. I don't like it. Uh, working life is is nice. I like working. It's fun. It's definitely fun. I'm working fun. I like the I like a competitive job. I like to I like it when I can have like uh like something like we all are doing the same thing and I can do better than the next person and prove that I'm better than them. I like doing stuff like that. You're smart. You're a smart guy. Yeah, I I, I like that. I like a good, I like a physical job as well. I don't want to just be sitting around. I want to be doing stuff. No, I walk 10 to 12 miles a day. Yeah. She's walking like 12 miles a day, 10 miles a day, and then hitting flights of stairs as well. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, it's it's pretty, yeah, it's a pretty active job. I could see working there. I like it. Ugh. And then going to the gym. Like they took us to um, wherever that we didn't go to last year. Indiana Beach. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna do something else. I don't know what it is yet, but August third. Ain't no bag. Tell them to just give you the money. <laughs> I yeah. wanna go, but Yeah, I do too. It's a good way to get a little free vacation. Yeah, we didn't go last time. Yeah, Did I wasn't. Somebody else pay for our stuff. Uh, so, did anybody call in today? Nope. That's good. No. Oh, okay. Revive only has 49,000. For first pass? Mm -hmm. Do they have a second pass? Mm -hmm. Oh, then yeah. They'll, they'll probably be there just as long as you. My dad used to have this bike. She used to be my pop's bike right there. I'm cold. I'm too cold to even drink the Red Bull. Too cold to drink your Red Bull? Yeah. Sounds like you're going to try. Yeah, I, 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 I need to get, like, what are we doing? What time do you think you're going to be off? Because we got to get to the bank to cash that, to deposit that check, and then we got to, uh... Oh, well, I'll be off before five. All right, good. And I want to make it to the gym today. Boom, boom. Well, I make it every day, yeah, but I want to get some time in today. So. Yeah, I'm going to be able to work out for a while today. We usually only get about 30 to 45 minutes to work out. 
But today, we're going to we're gonna finally get our little hour and a half, two hours in, and then tomorrow the same, Sunday the same, and then back to the 45 minutes a day. I'm, and I got a, I got a thing to regiment for the Monday. You got, you got it? All right, well, I'm going to see how it is, and if it's good enough, boom, $35 package of pro protein. Dang, I'm freezing. You ain't got no jacket? Yeah, I got a jacket. Put your jacket on then. I got it on. It's all the way up with my hood on. She goes to work very cold. Uh, I'm cold right and, now. and she's probably sitting right in the sun. No, nah, because the, the air, the smoking the area. Not in the sun. Yeah, it ain't in the sun. Not no, yet, it ain't. Oh, well, the whole patio area. You yeah. Yeah, there's not no sun. There is like by the fence, but who wants to stand by the fence? Yeah, well, the, where the sun's at right now, it ain't getting you. One of these kids, somebody was gonna get a bike, bro. You talked to them about, you talked to them about getting their first bike. Yeah, I talked to a guy about getting a bike on there. It's pretty nice. Bro, I, he's gonna get the same bike that I had. It's not. The, I told him that it's a fun bike, but it's not good for long distance or whatever. No. I want to get a bike though. I want to. I want to wait till I get good at driving a car first, and then get a bike. Dang, my birthday's coming up. People say driving a bike is easier than driving a car, but I don't think so. My birthday's in yeah. six days. <laughs> I know, boo. I'm so excited. It's crazy. I'm going to be 27 you years get, old. You get, a, you get a free Starbucks drink on your birthday. I'm, I'm going to be 27. Whatever you want in it. I started going down in age when I turned 30, though, so you do the math. Yeah. That's what happens when you turn 30. I want to get a, I want to get a bike, boo. I want to get a bike, bro. Get me a boo, bike. We need, we need a second car first. I know. How old do you got to be to get your bike license? Uh, 18, I think. What are the Ooh. rules? What are the rules? The same rules as the other? other yeah, motorcycle license, you just got to... Uh, there's different yeah. rules, like, uh, for, like, what side of the lane you ride on and stuff and stuff like that. Uh, there's other and stuff that goes... can't see you, so, like, it's yeah. way different. There's, there's other rules for riding a motorcycle, but you just study those like you do a regular driver's license and... Yeah, then you got your motorcycle license. Nice. And riding a motorcycle is very fun. Like if they go, if y'all go check out my content and just type in Honda VFR or motorcycle on see my page. Doing other things. Yeah, you can see some videos of me going like 160 mile an hour, uh, all types of stuff. Fun times. I was in the back. Trying to pop. Jogger. Nah, wouldn't take my kids that fast. We'd get up to 75, 80 on the highway, but. Uh, not yeah. over that. But yeah, I got all types of videos on the bike. It's fun to ride. I like riding a motorcycle. It's a good time. Good time. I'm going to get another bike soon. Get another bike that I can fix up and record doing it so I can... Yeah. I feel like it's easier to buy an expensive bike, I mean, a good bike, than it is to buy a good car. It is. They're way cheaper, yeah, because you can spend like 2500 and get a really nice bike, 3500 get a really nice bike. You're going to need about 3500 to 5500 to get a really nice car. Probably thirty five hundred is still pretty low. Like, yeah, you can get a nice bike for that though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just a couple of years ago, you used to be able to get a, a oh, I mean, not a nice car, but like a running car for five hundred. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now they said if the car's, I'm not fucking like trying to say if you had a truck and it was in running condition, it's worth five grand. That's what's Yeah, they say the car prices tripled with inflation. <laughs> Yeah, I lost a bit on the Mini Cooper that I was winning on it. Uh, it made it to its, what you call it, and and now I, it's out of my price range. And it's only got 70,000 miles on it. Dang. Yeah, I really needed that car. That's freaking crazy, bro. That's freaking crazy, bro. What is a Mini Cooper? This. Oh, that thing? You was, that was going to be your like get-around vehicle? I was going to go get it. Well, Mini Cooper, it ain't nothing special, but you know. I forgot what a Mini Cooper was, bro, because that's how much I don't care about Mini Cooper. It's like a grandma car. Uh, it's a su eh, supercharged uh, six cylinder, I think it says. Supercharged? Yeah, you're moving around a little bit, I guess. Not going to be going too fast. This Red Bull is not warming me up. No. No. Dang, bro. Excuse me. 
Uh, I gotta go back in this shithole place. I mean, this crap hole place. I love it here. For anybody listening to the podcast, I love it here. <laughs> Clean. They're they're trying to sell just the house, meaning you got to take the house and move it. What? Wow. How are you supposed to move a whole house? That is a great question. They That's lost. Be a lot of money. They lost the rights to their land, and it's got a it's got a pool in the back and everything. Yeah, like, you can't you can't move that, bro. You're not moving that house. No, bro. that's. Hey, I love you. I'm I, here at like ten. I I, you, I, I, don't know what time. I I love you more, and I'll see you at ten. All right, love you more. Bye. Love you more. Bye. Yeah, another day. So that that that's crazy. I think that they got that you got to move. You got to move the whole house, gang. Yeah, that's not happening. Come load up this house and move it for me. How much is that gonna cost? A big, huge, giant whole house. Yeah. What does this mean? Radiation shielded GoPro sent through electron beam. Radiation shielded GoPro sent through electron beam irradiator. Uh, so they're about to blast it with uh, radiation. Oh no, they're gonna let you see what it looks like. We're sending it through that electron el electron beam irradiator. I don't oh, know. Oh dang! She... I don't know what that even is to be honest with you. Me either. It doesn't look healthy though. No, it looks like it's. Probably not good for you to be around or touching. Hmm, yeah, so that's all we're going to check in on today. Uh, about a 30, about a 40 minute podcast. Just a little, just a little bit of us talking, you know. Uh, yeah, check back in with us tomorrow so we can so, tell so, you about that. Oh, uh, tell you about that fight we watch. I don't know what time it's happening, but yeah. Probably like 12 o'clock at night. So uh, it's going to be the next day. All right, love you guys. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.